Hey, 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 y'all. It's Tawanda. Okay, so I'm here with the channel message. Um, I was listening to a video earlier by Beauty. I think 99419 is her, is her handle. Um, and she was just talking about a personal experience that she's been having with um, spiritual warfare. And I also brought up the fact um, on a live that I recorded this morning that I had been experiencing heavy spiritual warfare. Um, and I hadn't recorded or uploaded any videos in the past week because of that. So after listening to her video and just thinking about how so many of the things that she said resonated with me, I started, you know, receiving these downloads and channel messages. So I just wanted to share them with you all because I know we're not the only ones, okay? So even though what you may be experiencing is truly demonic, even that is divinely guided, okay? This is spiritual warfare, all right? Um, some of the things that you may be experiencing are, you know, you might be feeling like somebody is following you, like, often. You know what I'm saying? You may have been feeling like that in the past month or so. I'm, I keep looking around because I am in Chicago. I feel safe where I'm at, but still. Um... You may be feeling like somebody following you. You may be um, switching up your regular uh, travel route. Um, you may be feeling a need to switch up, um, going to different places. Um, you may be called to go to a different grocery store than the one you normally go to or the one you plan to go to before you left your house. You may be called to take a different route you know you may take one street but now you're being called you know to go somewhere way out of your way you know you might remember to do something else or you know that you want to go somewhere else all of these diversions are divinely guided it's like they make sense to you but you're not sure exactly what is going on but you know there's something bubbling underneath the surface right something is going on You may even be feeling like isolation is necessary. Again, you're not sure exactly why, but you're feeling the need to just pull away from people. Like, people around you are starting to act weird. You know, people people are starting to, you know, show their true colors. You know, your intuition is giving you all kinds of signs, synchronicities, and different kinds of nudges. Even when it comes to people, You know, the devil works through people closest to you. That's the only way they can get you, right? You know, they have to be able to get someone that can get close to you in order to betray you, right? But what does the devil come into our lives for? They come into our lives to kill, steal, and destroy, right? Well, what the devil does is when you're a chosen person, they work closely with the people, you know, who are close in your life. Those those people who have close access to you, right? They promise these per these people earthly possessions, riches, uh, whatever it is that they, the devil can entice them with, right? It could be sex. It could be any kind of, you know, um, addictive behaviors, earthly possessions, um, whatever the person, you know, is weak for, pretty much. One of the, but I, I guess these messages were coming through. I wrote down, trust all these nudges and communication. Trust all of it, okay? You need to trust, all of this is, you know, everything works for the good and the glory of God, right? So, I believe that even when you're experiencing st spiritual warfare, it's for a reason too, okay? Most of the time you start experiencing this is when you're about to get a major blessing. And before you can get that blessing, you got to be separated, you know, for people who don't deserve to enjoy it with you. So, 
you may start noticing, you know, some differences in the people around you. And I mean spiritually as well as physically, okay? You may even see, depending on how, how tapped in you are, how strong your individual gifts are. Hey, how you doing? You may even notice entities um, on different people. And again, that's the only way that an attack can come to you, right? Through people close to you. So, I don't know if you all know what demonic eyes look like, but be on the lookout for people whose pupils are extremely dilated. They're big as hell, where it look like there's barely or any white at all on their eyeballs, okay? Those demon eyes, when you see that, recognize that, okay? This is a test of your faith and your intuition, okay? That's another message I got. Will you be fearful or will you be faithful? Now, if you're a chosen one, you already know this. I'm not even finna go through that because that's not what this message is all about. This is just about, you know, those who are experiencing heavy warfare. This is a reminder that it's spiritual, okay? And you have a job to do in all tasks, all right? Even, even here. Your job is to remain faithful. Faithful to the most high, faithful to yourself, and to your intuition, your intuitive nudges that you're receiving, okay? So, your intuition, your higher self, that's how you're going to escape this. You don't have anything to worry about, okay? You see how that light just started shining on me like that? Okay, like the sun just came right over me, okay? Listen, I'm going to tell y'all how you're going to pass this test. I got four, four um, bullet points here that I wrote down. I have a whole page of notes, all right? The Most High wants you to not be fearful at all. 717 on the clock. You have, you have the armor of God, you know, on you, protecting you at all times. Y'all have forces that you can't even see walking with you daily. Okay? Nothing to fear. What you have to do is keep your vibration high. Do whatever you need to do to keep your vibration high. So, if you... There are some people during this time that you're going to have to stay away from. There are some places and situations during this time that you're going to have to stay away from. Okay? It's important. This is this is an urgent message. Okay? It's urgent. Right now, there are some people, places, and situations that you're going to have to stay away from. Any people, places, or situations that may trigger you to lower your vibration can't be around them at this time if you know you have a volatile relationship with somebody this could be a romantic relationship familial relationship friends or whatever this is not the time to be around that person a one that you need to stay in a high vibration it's very important it's imperative when i wrote this down too it's imperative i heard gucci me <laughs> i don't even know the name of the song but y'all might know it he like everybody crossed me dead or broke and then there's a break in the music, and it's like true story, and the music keep playing. If you know, you know, okay? You don't have to worry about any of these people that are trying to harm you or cross you in any way. Your spirit guy's all on top of that, okay? What you have to do is vibe high. Remain confident that your spirit team is on top of the situation, and trust your intuition for proper guidance. My phone ringing, I can't answer right now. Trust your intuition for proper guidance, okay? And move as directed. Those are the four things. Vibe high. You got to stay in a high vibration right now. Remain confident that your spirit team is on top of it and you have nothing, absolutely nothing to fear. The divine will provide and protect you. Don't doubt it, okay? Not doubting it, remaining confident is a demonstration of your faith, okay? The third thing is trusting your intuition, to give you proper guidance that's your higher self that can always already see what you can't see to to guide you appropriately and then number four is moving as directed 9 41 on the clock okay that's obedience do those four things all right because you're gonna have rewards in the end this is all happening to you for a reason okay um 
some of you are going to be experiencing spiritual upgrades. So you may be feeling extra tired at this time. You may be needing extra rest. You may be having a lot of ringing in the ear or uh, major headaches. Okay, that's because of your spiritual upgrades and activations and initiations. Some of you all are going to have new spiritual gifts that are going to be opened up and revealed to you as well. Okay, you got to pass this test though. All right. Some of you are also going to have inheritances that are going to be finally flowing through. Now, some inheritances will be the 3D kind, okay? May come from a will or deeds or some kind of gift that's been left to you by a loved one that may have passed on, okay? But some of the inheritances will be spiritual, all right? They're going to be blessings that's going to come to you out of nowhere, okay? As justice for something that happened to you in the past. I'm just a messenger, okay? I wrote down these messages to share with you all. Um, stay faithful, not fearful, okay? And I'm going to end the message on that. If you start feeling nervous or whatever, watch this video again to make sure you follow those four things.